The crash P test can be used to quantitatively evaluate the slow cook-off reaction violence of rocket propellants on a much smaller scale than current testing methods. The test is a less expensive and faster method for screening rocket propellants for their slow cook-off violence than current full-scale tests. It's difficult to conduct full-scale slow cook-off tests in the early stages of rocket propellant development. The crash P test can provide much of this critical information early in the formulation process. The test is fast and inexpensive enough that many of the underlying questions involving chemical kinetics of rocket propellant ingredients during slow cook-off can be explored in greater detail than ever before. The crash P test requires experience in thermal fluid instrumentation, as well as setting up high-speed data acquisition for temperature and pressure measurements. A visual demonstration of this method can be helpful, as setting up the diagnostic equipment and positioning the sample can be difficult with written instruction alone. Demonstrating the procedure with Christopher Gray is Scott Sumner, a research engineer from our laboratory. For installation of the propellant sample, bolt the sample holder cover to the crash P sample holder to seal the sample. Then bolt the sealed sample to the steel plank attached to the chamber cap of the crash P test to keep the sample in the middle of the chamber. Place one of the thermocouples from the electrical feed-throughs inside the propellant sample holder to capture any exothermic reactions. Place another thermocouple on the steel plank pointed up to record the air temperature inside the crash P chamber. Place a small amount of RTV where the thermocouple enters the propellant sample holder to seal the orifice. Once the sample has been secured, slide the chamber cap into the body of the chamber.